Hey guys, my uh, woman wants me to make her a brooder. She's got a bunch of eggs going in the incubator. They're about to hatch out in the next few days. She needs a place to put them. And we ain't got a spot right now. So she asked me to build her something. Thanks to our friends, Miles and Aaron, we've got a great idea for making something out of these plastic bins. Just picked up a 50 gallon set of plastic bins from Walmart, a couple of uh, lids on it. We're gonna convert these into a brooder. So obviously you need the bins. Those were about $22 each, I believe. We're gonna use a nice sharp knife, some zip ties, need some sort of metal snips, a drill with a small drill bit. In our case, we've just got some chicken wire laying around. You can use any kind of metal wire mesh that you might like for this project. And in between a step or two here and there, you gotta have a sip of red wine. Ah, uh, it just goes with it. If you don't like wine, you can substitute whatever you might like there. Coke, bourbon, it's up to you. So I think first step is probably here to, we're gonna lay out some of this chicken wire. This stuff's a pain in the butt to work with. You know, because it just wants to roll back up. But we're gonna get a piece, see how well it fits on top of our lid. I'm gonna be cutting out just the inside area of this lid, leaving the frame on the outside. Then we're gonna attach this wire mesh across the top with the zip ties. So it looks like the short section is good. So we can just use that as a guide. Take your snips and just cut roughly how much you're gonna need here. Kind of like wrapping paper. two of these because we're making two boxes. I don't know, I think she said she's got something like a thousand eggs in there. No, I'm kidding, like 40 maybe? I don't know. Too many eggs. I told her she got to sell every one of them. I don't want no more stinking birds in my backyard, y'all. So she told me she's going to sell them. Maybe the kids can have one or two to raise by hand, but even then, got to sell them. Oh, I don't want no more birds. All right, we got that other one. You see, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but we're just gonna lay this out. We're gonna cut another one. Go ahead and get the cutting done. And it's just a rough cut right now. We can fold it all up later. Perfection is not part of this game. Functionality, that's what we're after. There may be a better way to do that, but you know, using the tools we got. All right, so now we got our two pieces of metal cut. And we've got two lids here to use. I think that is step one. And with step one, folks, cheers. Now, I think it might be best next to cut out, like I said, this inside edge. It's nice, we've got a good mold here to work with, so just take a nice sharp knife. All right, well the knife really wasn't cutting through this very well, so it makes a great starter, but I went to the battery-powered jigsaw here so that maybe we can cut around this edge a little bit easier. So, the jigsaw did a great job cutting the center out of this frame, out of the uh, lid, which gives us a nice frame. Next thing I'm thinking we want to do is drill a couple of holes. Oops. So we need holes two, one for each zip tie that's going to go through. It's going to go down through one, come up back through the other, zip tie the metal on the top. So to get started, we'll just put them in the corners. Oh, I need that battery on there. Duh. Mm. 
side by side. You see those two holes side by side right there. I'm gonna do that in each corner and then periodically along the edges just so we have something to zip tie the metal framework down. Here's a close up of the holes. That step's done, we got the inside cut out. We got the holes drilled all the way around. Ah, it's time for that sip. Mm. That's my favorite part of these projects. But anyhow, we're gonna take this metal now. I think I wanna put it on the inside so that we don't have the uh, pokey edges exposed. I just wanna line that up along the inside of this thing so that we can get our zip ties in here start to get everything locked down not going to be a whole lot to this it's really just a matter of pushing the zip tie through the hole bringing it back up through the other side where is it uh, there it is so now that zip tie is going to go through the plastic around one of the metal pieces so it doesn't slip off and just zip tie it down. That's all there is to it. We're going to work our way all the way around the edge, flatten this thing out as we go, try and keep it tight and taut, and we'll show you the end product. All right, so we have finished zip tying, as you can see, all around the edges. The wire to the inside. Got to make sure that this edge stays clear of any of the metal. So we have folded it in back on itself, you know, just to make sure that this edge is open and can sit on top of the bin like it ought to. So at this point, pretty much done. I'm going to take that and set it on top of our locking storage bin with the handles that now snap in place that's locked in nothing can get out our heat lamp is then going to be able to provide the heat that we need we'll be able to see what's going on easily clean it just by popping the lid off getting inside cleaning it taking care of food and water that kind of thing so with that part done i think i just need to put my tools away after one more sip of wine hope y'all enjoyed that <laughs>